So I just got back from motorcycle land in Ballarat where I've had uh, two new tyres fitted to my NC750X because I've sold the bike. Well at least the buyer has put a deposit down and um, yeah we're just getting it ready for sale now. But when I went into the Honda dealer I was surprised to find that the dealership is now under new management as new owners. Uh, have taken over motorcycle land and I did get to meet the new owners Joel and Justin two really nice guys and uh, They're very excited about what's going to be happening and um, What's coming up for the dealership? I think there's some pretty exciting things they have planned So that's great to see and while I was in there I learnt they had two brand new Hornet CB 750s sitting on the showroom floor a white bike with a red frame and a black bike with a red frame so I had a good sit on the CB750 and um, primarily I wanted to see what the riding position was like for someone my height, six foot one. And I'll show you what I predicted I would look like on the bike. And this is how I thought I would look, or someone my height, six foot one. And I thought it might be interesting to see how my prediction measured up to reality. So here's me sitting on the CB750. Now I have heard other riders say there's not a lot of room on the Hornet for taller riders but I found the riding position to be very comfortable and you can see here I've got plenty of room for my leg, uh, my knees well clear of the cutout in the tank and I still have a little bit of room to move around on the seat. Now I have heard other reviewers saying there's not a lot of room to move around on the seat on the Hornet but I'm wondering if their um, waistline may be a little bit more generous than mine and I'm not trying to be uh, derogatory or anything there. Uh, I just found that um, with my body shape and my weight now uh, I found there was plenty of room to sit on the bike and I felt the reach to the bars was really good and uh, the whole bike felt very comfortable and it's a bike that I could see myself riding no problems at all at my height. And while I was in there I also spied a brand new CBR650R on the floor 2023 model and a brand new CB500X 2023. So they were sitting on the showroom floor. Um, I don't know, if you're looking for one of those bikes, you might want to hit them up at Motorcycle Land in Ballarat because I have heard there is a bit of a waiting list on those two bikes. So if you are chasing a CBR650R or CB500X, definitely get in contact. Now I'm not sure what the full story is with a uh, uh, what's happening with those bikes but um, they do look like they are for sale so I'm just putting that out there. So going forward I really do wish Joel and Justin all the uh, success in the world in taking on the new dealership and or taking on the dealership and um, and am excited to see what they what they do with it and what they bring to our little city but I'm also sad to see uh, the previous owners go if you like so so on one hand it's sad to see Don retire, Don's about 73 now and uh, Matt retire from the business. I believe Matt's going to be working there for a few more months before he, he moves on. So I do wish Don and Matt all the best for whatever they have installed for the future. I do wish Justin and Joel all the best in uh, their new endeavour on taking on the Honda dealership. So if you're in the Ballarat area and you want to see the Honda Hornet CB750, you can at least go and sit on the bike on the showroom floor. Now I did speak to Joel and he would dearly love to put demo bikes on again so we'll see what happens there. Um, that would be fantastic if we could start to demo bikes again. I know the challenge is getting bikes from uh, like Honda Australia uh, as it is with all the dealers at the moment mm -hmm. but um, uh, at least the drive is there and Joel and Justin want to do it so that's that's fantastic. All right, if you've made it this far, thank you so much for watching. And as always, I really do appreciate your support. Here's a couple of videos you might be interested in. And until next time, bye for now.